Hey, what's up guys? Rado here and welcome to another episode of Just Rolled Into The Shop brought to you by PureMoto.com Don't forget guys, if you are working on your bike, you need some parts or you need new gear shop locally, support your local dealer. If you want to know what they have in stock, you can jump on PureMoto.com search your local dealer inventory and then drive down and pick it up. Alright, so today I have something that I'm really excited about and this is probably the best news uh, in the industry and that is that there is a new player on the market, there is a brand new dirt bike on the market and it's not made in China. So this bad boy that you see now on the screen, this bad boy is made in Italy. And we see a lot of good stuff coming out of Italy lately. In the last video I covered this uh, 300 two-stroke fuel-injected engine based on YZ250 that has been developed by Fantic and Minarelli, Motori Minarelli, and they are going to have this engine in the 300 uh, Fantic bikes, which are heavily based on, uh, on the YZ250, and also they, are, they have other models that are based on other Yamaha models. So they have all this uh, lineup of the bikes in Europe, uh, selling in Europe and competing and doing good in, in Europe, all these Fantic bikes. So that's Fantic and Yamaha, we see this partnership. So there's a lot of good stuff coming from that Italian, partnership for that Italian company. Now there is another Italian company. You maybe heard about them, maybe you didn't. I grew up in Europe and I heard that name many times, but uh, when I was uh, looking at those magazines back in uh, before year 2000 when I was a teenager and I've seen those bikes, I was just drooling and I was thinking, man, this is like so out of my league. It was for <clears throat> just top guys, it was high end, mostly like a handmade and they look incredible. I'm talking about Bimota. Bimota is an Italian company. They uh, were uh, made back in 1973. The company uh, was established by three guys. They took their first two letters of the last names, put it together, came up with the name Bimota. They just love bikes and the idea was to build this uh, unique, high-end, amazing bikes based on some engines from the well-established brands like Honda, Suzuki, Yamaha, Kawasaki, and even Ducati, that is Italian as well. Now, they start building these bikes and they were amazing. They look amazing, they ran amazing. They did a lot of uh, racing with them. They had some success there. So it was a well-established name and bikes were just one of a kind, right? Then later on, they had some turmoil, uh, financial, so they were bankrupt and somebody bought them and uh, they kind of resurrected the brand. They were making some bikes. But what's really excited that I want to share today is that in 2019, not that long ago, they were bought, well, not fully, 49.9%, almost 50%, were bought by Kawasaki from Japan. So now, Kawasaki owns 49.9% of Bimota and is a strategic partner of Bimonta. So now Bimonta from 2019 is focusing to making a bike bikes based on well established engines from Kawasaki. For example, Ninja 1000, uh, Bimonta is building a bike based on Ninja 1000 with 230 horsepower that is just one of a kind. If you look at the screen, you see these pictures I'm sharing now, this bike is something else. This is not your, uh, you know, mass production bike. This is something that is uh, Beautiful, it's just like an art, uh, hand painted and just a really high end product. And what I want to talk about today is that uh, since they had a lot of success selling these bikes, uh, Kawasaki and Bimota, they decided to also enter a dirt bike market. So they took KX450X, which is an off road version of KX450 uh, from Kawasaki lineup. They brought it, took it apart, and they made it better. So you are looking at the Bimota off-road race bike based on Kawasaki KX450 that is, uh, is brand new, that is it's different, it's better, but it's heavily based on Kawasaki 450X. So if you look at it, if you compare it, if you, I put these two bikes side by side, I think nobody will argue that uh, the Kawasaki looks better. Like first, uh, as a first side, definitely Bimota has the design dial in better. I love the colors, I love the, the headlight and everything. It's just kind of big tank, it looks better. So <clears throat> you can comment below and share your opinion. Kawasaki kind of looks plain. Bimota looks like, this is a little bit like more like a high-end dirt bike. And uh, they also play with the engine electronics. There are different maps, there is traction control. So they team up with other companies uh, who are doing this electronics. Now we have a knob on the handlebars. You can change many things when it comes to your engine. Uh, power delivery and all that good stuff. 
Also, there is a big tank that comes stuck, which is 2.8 gallons, one gallon bigger than what Kawasaki gives you. So you don't need to touch that at all. You are set up over there. You, get, you have a headlight, you have a tail light, you have a LCD screen display. You can see which gear you are in and, and all that thing. So there is a lot of add-ons that are on Bimota. It comes with a different exhaust. This is the aero exhaust with the carbon fiber tip at the end that meets Euro 5 uh, emission norms and standards. So the bike can be sold and, and used easily. And I, I believe it can be made street legal in some European countries. So definitely great news. We have a new player here on the market and I kind of love how they enter the market. We know about the Triumph, right? The Triumph is building a dirt bike. Uh, we know that for like three years, four years, they always show the bike covered with some kind of black cloth. We never seen anything. They just talk about it. I think it's coming and I think it will be good, but I want to see it, right? So there's the Triumph story. Now here, Bimota didn't tell anything to anybody. And the first thing they are giving us is the bike. So they come to the, the ECMA show back in, uh, in 2022, a few months ago, and they introduced the bike. And everybody was shocked that there is a new player on the market. The bike looks amazing. Yes, it's heavily based, based on KX, but it's made in Europe, it's different, it's better, and uh, it's a new player on the market. Now, what I think that this Kawasaki and Bimota partnership that started back in 2019, they're looking on different things, how they can, how they can work together. They wanna sell more bikes, right? Probably KX is not selling a lot of 450s, so they did this, they will sell more bikes, more engines pro, uh, produced in Japan, it's only good for the brand, right? They even keep Kawasaki on the engine, they didn't put Bimota on the engine. So it's very clear that partnership, their relationship between these two brands. Now, other thing that I think is that uh, this is just the beginning. I think they're gonna bring over more models. They probably bring over 250, they make 250X maybe, they make 250, 450. I think this is beginning of something cool. I don't think this would be like one hit and miss. I really believe that uh, this is beginning of something that we are seeing with Fenting and Yamaha. I think we'll be seeing something similar here with Bimota and Kawasaki. <clears throat> now, one really interesting thing that I want to share is the main engineer in Bimota. I think you would love his life story. So here we go. His name is Pierluigi Marconi or Marsoni, and he was 14 years old back in 1973 when Bimota first started, when the factory started, and he lived right next to the factory. So when the first bike came out of the factory, when they started it outside, he saw the first bike, he heard the first bike, and he just said, man, I want to be a bike designer one day. I love motorcycles. I want to be a bike designer. So he was following his dream since he was a little kid. He was racing two strokes, you know, doing all the two stroke uh, adjustment you can do, moving the, the ports and all that, you know, uh, doing porting and, and polishing, playing with the shocks, changing the, the chassis, playing with different things. So he was designing his own thing back in the day. Then he went to school to get his degree to become an engineer. And then he joins Bimota in his uh, hometown. He joins the company and he becomes the number one head engineer. And he designs these amazing bikes, this amazing technology for the swing arms and all kinds of stuff. So it's one of a kind. Uh, he's considered to be a legendary motorcycle engineer and all started because he lived right next to the Bimota factory. He saw the bike and this was sparking him, this passion. So you can see this, that people behind Bimota are passionate, really passionate enthusiasts. They really love what they are doing. It's not just a job for them. So I think we can expect something really great coming out of that Kawasaki Bimota relationship. I think it's only good for us uh, to see new brand on the market. And as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, it's not from China. Like these uh, Chinese people, they can do whatever they want. They can just slap this and that, and they don't, they don't care about the intellectual property theft and all those kind of things. Um, I don't want to support that. But this is something that is amazing. I really want to support and I want to share this uh, on my channel. Like, I think this is something amazing that we see new player on the market. We see everything is legit. Everything is established based on Kawasaki and they are building on the top. So as I said, I hope that we're going to see Kawasaki Bimota same as we are seeing Yamaha and Fenty. All right, my friends, well, that's about it for today. That's about it for this episode. This news is an epic news. I really love it. Seeing the bike and, uh, and you know, reading about the story, learning that Kawasaki actually owns almost 50%. I really love to, you know, read all the research and everything that uh, guys from Pure Moto sent me over because it's a fun stuff for me and it's a fun stuff to share with you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know below in the comments how you liked it. Uh, let me know what you think about this new player on the market. And don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.